hello viewers thanks for watching our videos if not yet subscribe please subscribe and hit the bell icon so in this module we are going to discuss we are going to start our new chapter that is square roots and cube roots let's start our first exercise first question what will be the units digits of the square of the following numbers actually square of any number will be unit digits will be like for 0 it will be when 0 square will become 0 then 1 square will come 1 for 2 square will come 4 3 square will come 9 then 4 square will come 16 then 5 square will be 25 then 6 square will be 36 then 7 square will be 49 then 8 square will be 64 then 9 square will be 81 again 10 square will be 100 so what are the unit digits here so 0 1 4 6 9 these numbers only repeating in unit squares let's start our first one is 39 square so 39 into 39 so what is that 39 into 39 will be 1521 so that is 1521 so we are getting what is that unit digit is 1 for this or you can do another method is how to do is 9 here 9 9 is there 9 9 is up so what you will get 81 so last two numbers we need to take the multiplication of unit digits we have to do multiplication of unit digits we have to do means then you will get here here both are same let's take our next one as 297 297 in that 297 square so 297 into 297 so what you will get here is 297 into 297 so 88 thousands 2209 or you can take one method what is that unit digit is 77 or you can take unit digit 7 into 7 49 then what is the 9 here so what is the unit digit for this 9 so for this unit digit unit digit equal to 1 for this unit digit will be equal to 9 like that next one 5 1 2 5 so what is the unit digits here so to whole square if you take means unit digit is what 5 1 2 5 into 5 1 to 5 so here's 5 into 5 so if you multiply 5 into 5 then what you will get 25 so what is the unit digit here 5 is unit digit so unit digit will be equal to 5 next one 7 2 8 6 whole square 7 2 8 6 into 7 2 8 6 so let's take here 6 6 is a unit digits so 6 into 6 36 so from that 6 is coming so then what is that unit digit will be unit digit will be equal to 6 then our last one is 8742 whole square square means we need to do square so two times we need to multiply 8742 so here 2 2 2 into 2 then what you will get in 4 so for that unit digit will be equal to 4 so like this we need to solve the unit digits what is the power of a square numbers thanks for watching please subscribe viewers thanks for watching our videos if not yet subscribe please subscribe and click the bell icon so in this module we are going to discuss which of the following numbers are perfect squares that means so we have to check perfect squares means unit digits first so in perfect squares In perfect squares, unit digits are unit digits are zero, one, four, six, nine. These numbers only in perfect square numbers unit digits are repeating. Then our first one is one twenty one. So one twenty one means so we know what is ten into ten that is 100 so after 100 only we will get 
So, 121, you can write in the format of 11 into 11. So, 11 into 11, for 11 square, we will get 121. Yes, it is perfect square. Perfect square numbers. Next, 136. So, after 11, 12 into 12, we have to do, that is, so 12 into 12, what is that is, 144. So, after 11, we will get 144, even though 6 is a unit digit, but it is not it. So, after 11, 12, we will get, this is not perfect square. Not perfect square. Because, we will not getting any number. Then, 256. So, 256, 6 is unit digit, 256 will be, 16 into 16, we will going to check, we will get 15. So, 256 will get 16 into 16. Then that will be perfect square. 16 square, this is perfect square number. Next, 321. So, 321 is, what is that is? So, we know 200 into 200, that is 20 into 20, 400. So, it should be get below that, maybe 17 into, we will not get anything. So, 17 into 17 will do means 289 will get 18 into, let's take 19 into 19. 19 into 19 will be 361. Then, 17, 18 into 18, 324. 18 into 18, 324. Then 17 into 17, 17 into 17, 289. So, in between 321 we will get, but that is not coming by any number. So, 321 is not perfect square. Is not perfect square number. Next one, 600. So, 600 means in 200, 220 into 20, we are getting 400. So, after that, 25 into 25 will do means 625 we will get. 24 into 4, 576. So, 24 into 4, 576. Then 25 into 25 will be, what you will get? 625. 625. So, in between that, 600 coming. But, we, this is also not perfect square. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. So, we have to check with near perfect square numbers. Then we will get. Obvious. Now, we will go to discuss third question that is, the following numbers are not perfect squares. Give reasons. So actually, perfect square numbers, perfect square numbers are all ends with ends with zero, one, four, six, nine only. Then we will take one, first one, 257. So what is that? 257 is, 7 is unit digit. Unit digit, unit digit, perfect square or not. Unit digit, yes. So here, 7 is there. So 7 is unit digit. For 257, 7 is unit digit. It is not matching with any above value. For that, it is not. It is not perfect square. Perfect square number. Our next one is 4592. So, what is here unit digit? 2. So, 2 is unit digit. For that, it is not perfect square. Then, 2, 4, double 3. So let's take unit digit is 3, for that it is not unit, unit square, perfect square. Why? Because it's not matching with 0 or anything like that. Next, 
phi 0 phi 0 here unit digit is 0 but the unit digits compulsory it should be two zeros should be present or otherwise you can check two zeros should be two zeros should be present two zeros should be compulsory a hundred for a hundred it is two zeros so it's not perfect square if you take 72 into 72 so 72 into 72 what you will get is 5184 5184 then 71 into 71 71 into 71 what you will get is 5041 like that but it is not perfect square so two zeros should be present like 100 then it is um, 10,000 like that unit digit two zeros should be present our next one is 6098 so 6098 what is our unit digit here 8 so for that it is not perfect square thanks for watching please subscribe